Hi! Today I'm going to make a scene. Well, to be more accurate, I'm going to show you how to make my clean and simple scenery card using the Stampin' Up! Snowfront Stamp Set. My clean and simple scenery card is also a sip card. Do you know what that is? I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 18 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. Well, SIP, that stands for Stamps, Ink, and Paper, and that's all we'll use for my clean and simple scenery card. Here's a closer view of the Snowfront stamp set. You can build all kinds of scenes with this, and today we're going to use it to make a clean and simple scenery card. Now the Snowfront stamp set is from the 2019 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. And the samples in here, oh they are wonderful. Look at them. Every one is different. Just such a nice variety of scenes you can build. And uh, sitting here thinking about it, nice to have something for the guys. Not that a woman wouldn't love all of these, but nice for you know, something that isn't flowery. And uh, so the retiring list for the 2019 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog was re uh, released earlier this week. And as tiny, teeny, tiny as that print was on the list, I did not see the Snowfront stamp set. But there are a lot of other stamp sets and dies and ribbons and designer series paper that are retiring and available now only while supplies last or January 2nd, whichever comes first. So I highly recommend you get on over now to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com, or you know, wait till you're done watching the video, and, uh, and look and see what you've been meaning to get and hadn't done yet. You know, if it's there in, in the retiring things, order it right away, because if not, you'll risk that it'll sell out before you do. Okay, so let's go ahead and start stamping. And I'm gonna use my wonderful, wonderful Stamparatus Stamp Positioning Tool. Love this. And one of the features I really love about it is how the two sides, they're not closed in. And why is that important? Well, because if you follow my videos, you know I don't like to stamp on a bouncy surface. I always want a flat surface. Well, because this is open, I can fit my card right up in the corner and know where it's going to go every time. It's easy for placement. And uh, I'm using Whisper White Thick cardstock, and this is great for when you want a card base of white because it's sturdier. And it has the same great finish as the regular Whisper White. It's a tight, smooth finish that you get crisp, clean images. If you're going to use white cardstock, you really want to be using Whisper White cardstock in the regular or um, the Whisper White Thick. And if you want a cream color, very vanilla. Same thing, that same smooth, tight finish. Okay, so whenever I shove up in a corner like this, I really don't have to use a magnet. But um, I this was on here. This is from the Misty Creative Corners. And, uh, and I've used this in some other videos, and it just saved me time because, you know, you, you set it and it's all set. Well, this time, I just wanted to hold it in place just to help me out a little bit. But what I liked about it was how quick it was to get off. Because the Stamparatus comes with two super strong magnets. I mean, when you need that to hold in place, you absolutely want to use those. And, uh, but for this, it was just a, a little quick, oh, okay, and I can get that off and keep moving on. I don't know that I'm impatient, but I get real excited and just, you know, want to be able to keep going. Okay, so the Snowfront stamp set, this is a photopolymer or the clear rubber. Uh, and so you don't have the foam that you do on a, um, a cling mount stamp set. So we need to build up the difference. So the Stamparatus comes with a foam mat and that will take the place of, you know, make up the difference that you don't have. But you also can purchase instead, because if you're missing your grid lines when you cover them up with that, you can get the deluxe foam mat, and that's available in my online store. So I like that. And um, so now let's go ahead and put this in the corner. Perfect. And so why I really wanted to use my Stamparatus was for the greeting. Because I don't know about you, but when I get it crooked, and it's usually the last thing you do, just drive you out of your mind. So the Stamparatus prevents that. But in order to get my greeting right where I wanted it, I needed my pond or lake. So we'll start with that. And I'm going to use the Pool Party Classic Stampin' Pad. Pick this up, slide in, and a quick swipe on my stamping sleeves because I was just really tired of smudging my greeting cards. 
And so my mom and I came up with the stamping sleeves and oh, look at that. Okay, so it's gonna be right where I want it every time. We came up with the stamping sleeves to prevent that. I'll have a link under the video so you can, if you're tired of it too, so you can check it out and order a pair. Okay, so a quick swipe. And so now our greeting. The Stamparatus comes with two of these plates. What's so cool about them being reversible, you've got more surfaces. Isn't that great? I decided to use the other one instead of doing the reverse because it comes with it. Why not? And so I have set up on here my greeting. Let me pull this back. And we'll just slide this in right here. There we go. I'm going to bring this back where you can see what I'm doing. And the greeting I chose is a little hello from the Itty Bitty Greeting Stamp Set. This has a greeting for virtually every occasion and holiday you can think of great set. Now this is a red rubber set, set and uh, but I'm not going to take this off. I found it doesn't hurt at all if it's still built up. You know I don't have to switch back and forth because I'm using from going from photo photopolymer to the cling which works out really well. Now I want my greeting to be in shaded spruce. I don't mind if I get ink on, on my stamp brush. It'll rinse off but with this little tiny stamp, let me see if I can pull this back a little bit more for you yet. I had the whole pad on there. I was making a fine mess, you know, um, and I thought, that now that's a real waste of ink, that little bit, but like, ugh. So the stampin' spots are a wonderful thing. And so what I did was I made my own shaded spruce stampin' spot. And I did that by buying the uninked ones and inking it with my color of choice. Quick and easy to do, and you may find you like it for something like this with your stamp apparatus or any small stamp. And, uh, or if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you may already have the Shaded Spruce Stampin' Spot. Um, and if you, the Paper Pumpkin, this is, it's a kit that comes in your mail and it's just, you're spoiled rotten because of course everything's designed and cut and ready to go for you. And every month you get a Stampin' Spot and Stampin' Up strives to not repeat a color in a calendar year. So you end up with a nice variety of Stampin' Spots. And so if you're not and want to learn more about that, if you want to spoil yourself, uh, I'll have a link under the video where you can go sign up for that. So we'll just go ahead and see what's nice about that. I don't have ink everywhere. All right. And then we'll close it. Now, I don't know about you, but with small stamps, I tend to have a, a, a habit of pressing too hard and then I have this blurred image, you know, it's thicker than I wanted, or and then the next time you don't press hard enough. And since it's usually about the last thing I do, I just wanted to get it right. So that's why I'm using my Stamparatus. Now let's pretend I wasn't happy with that. I think that looks really good because I have this placed. You can't see I'm off camera, but I'm just inking it up again. And then when I go back, it's going to go back exactly where I was so I can get that image deeper. Isn't that great? Okay, so I'm done with my Stamparatus. I'm going to uh, freehand it from here uh, and it's a wonderful tool when you need it for that pre precise placement that's for sure. I could have set everything else up on there but I chose not to. So with your Stamparatus you can fold one of these in but do not fold the second plate. You could break that off at the hinges so just take that off and place it on top. Okay so let me bring back my card and then we will finish. Because, uh, this is Oh, just a cute, quick card. Really liked it. So now I'm going to finish building the scene. And so our next color, we have Smoky Slate for this drift of snow. And it was too dark when I stamped it. I thought, oh, I don't want it that dark. And so I have a piece of scrap paper here. And we're going to use a technique that's called stamping off. All right, so open this up, slide it in, quick swipe. We don't want to sponge anything. All right, so I've got this fully inked, but I'm going to come over here and stamp off some of the ink so I can have a lighter version and fill this in right here. There we go. All right, so we're done with the Smoky Slate. Perfect. All right, quick swipe. And I have the Crumb Cake Classic Stampin' Pad. This will be for our mountain or mountains. There we go. Ink that up. And with this being a photopolymer stamp set, it's just really easy to see. You can see right through it to know your placement. Okay. Oh, looking so good. All right, so let's close this, that little push. 
I don't know if I said it, but listen for that click. You want to make sure it's closed. So now I'm going to do some evergreen trees. And this time I'm going to use the Shaded Spruce Classic Stampin' Pad instead of my spot. And here's the reason. Uh, the Classic Stampin' Pads have this firm foam pad that you get remarkable coverage. The coverage is wonderful. Where the Stampin' Spots to me feel like that old felt. I mean, it's great when you need them, but um, I'm going to always use my Classic Pads for that great coverage whenever possible. So there we go. So I've got this the largest tree. We're going to ink this up. Get it good and inked up. Okay. And come over here. We'll hold it down a little bit extra long because we definitely want this to be a great image. It's a dark color and a pretty solid stamp. Oh, doesn't that look good? Okay, so now I have a couple more evergreens. And uh, they're smaller, so that helps them look further in the distance. But another way you do that is by stamping them a little bit lighter. So let's get these good and inked up. I'm going to lightly stamp off. Okay, so when you do that real quick, when you come over here, stop and remember that we don't want to be quick on our card. It's easy to do. You go quick on one, you go quick on the other, and you can end up with not a full image. That's not optimal. Okay, so quick. Okay, I didn't do that. I did not doing that straight. Okay, there we go. And we'll overlap that a little bit. Let's hold it down. Fantastic. Stamping off technique is just one I end up using a lot because you just want a lighter version. And, uh, and it's like having more than one ink pad. Okay, we are getting there. There's very little more to do. Um, we have our early espresso classic stamp pad. Pick that up, slide that in. And this is for our deer. Uh, all right. And we'll put them right about right here. I'm going to hold that down. I'm not pressing hard, but I want to allow the ink to have time to absorb in. This is a dark color with a solid stamp. So I just really want a good stamped image. Aha, fantastic. And one more little burst of color. Okay, and I've got the real red that we'll be using with what is right now I'm calling a cardinal. <laughs> and ink this up. And come over here. And there we go. Fabulous. Now, when I'm telling you to push that, look, there's ink right there. How easy would that be to pick up and get on your fingers and end up on your card? So that's where my stamping sleeves come in. And so I chose a little hello, but with the itty bitty greetings, you could make this into anything. A birthday card, a thank you card, you know, for virtually anything that you would want. And, uh, and there you go. Clean and simple scenery card that's also a sip card. If you'd like to make my clean and simple scenery card with the Snowfront stamp set, all the supplies are listed below the video and available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. And when you place your December 2019 Stampin' Up! order of $25 or more in products, I'm going to send you one of my clean and simple Snowfront cards. So get on over now to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.